Would you like to use third-party phones as agent phones in Cisco UCCX? Do you want your call center agents to log in, make and receive calls from a web browser without any VPN or installing anything on the PC? In this video, we will configure Cisco UCCX and the call manager so that your agents can use any phone to handle customer calls. I will also show you Comstis Finesse web phone that your agents can use without any VPN required. First, let me clarify that there is no Cisco presence or Cisco Jabber needed for this setup. All you need is a call manager and the UCCX. Cisco call manager offers extend and connect feature, and we will use this feature to make UCCX work with third-party phones. First thing we need to do is to disable persistent connection option in the UCCX system parameters. This option is enabled by default, and once the agent is logged in, call manager makes a persistent call on agent's third-party phone. In many cases though, you don't need this. The call setup is quick enough to answer customer calls. So we disable this feature here. This change can be done during office hours, it doesn't require any service restarts and will not affect any users. The next thing we will do is to create a CTI remote device on the call manager. UCCX can only work with Cisco phones and CTI remote device will act as a Cisco phone for our third-party device. You will configure it like any other phone, give it an extension, select its partition, etc. One thing we need to do here is to create a remote destination and configure the phone number of the third-party device in the way call manager can dial out. So if you need any prefixes to dial out, you need to add them here. Two very important points about the remote destination. One, it uses rerouting CSS. So make sure that you select the CSS here. It will not use the CSS to, on the device or on the line level. If you don't configure the rerouting calling source space, it will not be able to call your remote destination. And the second thing is you need to check the box route calls to all remote destinations when the client is not connected. Cisco Extend and Connect feature was originally created for Cisco Jabber. And when you select this option, you can use Cisco Extend and Connect feature without logging into Cisco Jabber. The next thing we need to do is to add this device into UCCX RMCM user. As you remember, UCCX needs to monitor agent phones and we need to add our new agent phone into control devices of the RMCM user. Then we need to make sure that the CTI remote device is also associated with the call manager and user of the agent. And the extension of the CTI remote device is selected as Cisco IPCC extension. I have to stop you here for a moment because one of the common scenarios you will see is that agent will need to switch between their Cisco phone and third party phone. Switching the IPCC extension is an admin level task, and agents normally cannot do that. At Comstis, we created a web application so that agents can switch between Cisco and non Cisco phones without any admin rights needed on the call manager. In this example, our agent has a Cisco phone, third party soft phone, and a mobile phone. So she can switch to the device she prefers, and IPCC extension is updated automatically. So here you go. These are the steps to configure Cisco Call Manager and the UCCX to use it with the third-party phones. You can use applications like Comsys Web Phone, login as a finesse agent, as well as a web phone. Comsys Web Phone is an on-premises solution. The server side is hosted on your network and the agents can access to the web phone from the public internet. Comsys Web Phone server can also record all the conversations in case you need to record audio. Check out the link in the description for Comsys web phone and request a trial today. And also let us know if you have any other challenges about remote working with Cisco UCCX.